Have you ever wondered what it's like behind the brick walls and iron bars? Well, we here at Weasel have been invited to have a sneak peek behind this highly guarded and fortified establishment. Come with us now on a journey through beauty and pain as we meet the inmates at the prison and the DOC, including the ravishing Emma Stone. Come now, let's have a look. This is a facility to help people who are struggling in their life. Um, they've made the wrong choices. They've made mistakes. Uh, we're here to help them, but of course, that means you don't, you know, you don't have the same freedoms in uh, this facility that you would have elsewhere. Um, you know, social media, your phone, all that. You don't have that here. You know, uh, we I offer. Mean, uh, may I interject? I have seen Sheldon uh, in the <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> How are you helping Sheldon, Mr. Robot? I don't know what you're talking about, but... I've seen Brock Babcock. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know and what you're Chalkers talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't... I'm and really, the Riddlers as well. I, mm, I don't think so. Here's the thing. Yeah. We, don't, we don't support any of that. Uh, if we find them doing stuff on social media, we search them, we search their cell, all that. Of course, sometimes phones are smuggled in or whatever you have it it happens um we do allow phone calls to inmates who are behaving well they can call loved ones they can call their family their friends we're not evil you know um we let them make phone calls like that but texting and social media and all that 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 we don't support that that's uh more of like um, a contraband issue so I see. okay is there anywhere else we can look uh, we got a lifer here actually oh nice hey <laughs> Khabib. Hey, how you doing, Khabib? How you doing? I'm doing brilliantly. Okay, so you're Mr. Khabib, is that right, sir? Killer Khabib, yeah. Okay, and would you like to tell us what you've done to end up here, sir? Uh, nothing. I'm only waiting for my... So, I haven't done anything, but I've committed terror times too. Uh, yeah, free up could be uh, stalking, uh, Go ahead. attempted murder, kidnapping. I've done loads of shit, honestly. The terrorism ones are the big ones, though. So. Okay, and is it correct you work with the lovely, uh, lovely man, Mr. Toddy? Is that right? Yeah, we actually committed our first yeah, act okay. of terrorism yeah. together. Oh, wow, wow. I've, I've already uh, been processed for that one, so I can happily speak. That one. Well, I know Toddy, he's a lovely man, and if you're friends with him, I'm sure you're a good guy too, down and deep in your heart, you know. So, would you like to talk about some of the things you've witnessed here in the facility? Interesting. Uh, yeah, of course, of course, I'll take it away. Uh, so, there was this guy named then he was a little pussy. Uh, I stabbed him over there. Oh, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's keep names from out of it. Let's. Uh, we oh, can sorry. bleep that in post. Don't worry. We'll. We'll there was, there was, there was a pussy, uh, with shit hair, and uh, he got on the wrong side of the council, so we stabbed him over there. I did the deed. I stabbed him seven times. Um, I beat someone up over there. We actually jump people in that cell at the end there all the time when they first arrive at prison. Like you jump them in, the newbies, the new fishes, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly, exactly. Uh, do you want to see my cell? Yeah, we'd love to. Oh, shoot. One sec. Baby, you're here. So, uh, this is. Uh, there's not a lot to it because uh, I was in surgery and they probably thought I was going to die, so they packed up a lot of my stuff. But uh, there's normally a picture of me with two AK-47s on the wall. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah, that is cozy, I guess. I said, how long have you been in here so far? Uh, probably about a few years now, and I'm still waiting on my okay. court case. And you're still waiting to even, do you even have a date yet? Nope. Oh my, oh my. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what was this council thing you were saying about a minute ago? Ah, uh, the council, the council of nines. It's a group of individuals with a like-minded interest. 
um, of keeping everybody safe in prison. Ah, okay. And you, would you, could you not tell a gang? Us? Yeah, well, clearly not. Would you would you be able to tell us who else? Is, who else is involved in this council? You got the prison king, big sexy Babcock. He's like my prison dad. Oh wow. Uh, you got Mr. J. Sheldon. Uh, Edward, aka Riddler. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, we know him. You got Hope, but I'm pretty sure Hope's escaped right now. Oh yeah, uh, I was texting um, with her. She's on the lam. Pretty sure that is it. Oh no, uh, Arnold. Okay. Ted, Ted Cooper, and Denzel, uh, and I think there's a few more new lifers that we need to introduce to the council. And I established with Toddy in his interview that he's not actually allowed to be in the council. This is correct. We actually have an order on against him. You have a what, sorry? An on-site order. What does that entail? Uh, it warrants us to beat the shit out of him every time we see him. Oh my, but isn't he your friend? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, council comes first. He disrespected the council, he disrespected some of the COs, and uh, we just had to take action. He beat down a dog, he beat down a canine a few times, so... Oh, we had yeah. to take action. Oh my. Disgraceful behavior. Disgraceful. Let's Disgraceful crack on. indeed. Let's keep looking around, ladies and gentlemen, to see more. Can I come with you guys? I haven't course, seen human people in so long. Don't worry. Come, come, come. You guys want to see something cool? Always. I can, I can really start shit up. Watch this. One sec. Aaron, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Guys, I ain't got my crocs on, and there's three people here who definitely have no weapons. <laughs> Khabib, do me a favor, put him back on, please. Khabib, Khabib, don't be like this, what's, bro. Put him back on. You alright? So Khabib, the of, Khabib. The signal of crocs, the crocs are the crocs of peace. I don't have a money. Khabib. Oh, or someone. Khabib, can we please oh, put shit. them back on? Back on. Back on. All right. Don't worry. They're on. Thank They're on. you. We're safe. Thank okay. you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I just gentlemen. wanted to. You should, you should see it when there's a lot of corrections officers. I take my shoes off, they all just start aiming tasers at me. They don't like it. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Khabib's sign of aggression taking his cock. Crocs off. I nearly said cocks off. Wow. <laughs> Taking his crocs off. I do not take my cock off. I would hope not. That would be very painful indeed. Keep an eye out for that later in the episodes. And you might notice him about to flip the fuck out before he actually does. Catch up with us next time where we will be going back behind the bars, speaking to more inmates. Catch with the DOC and what they've been up to and also speak with the beautiful Emma Stone. <laughs> <laughs>